Well, I want to thank the organizers for inviting me. It's really an honor to be here. And I'm so thrilled to see so many of my friends here in the audience and, and on stage. Um, <clears throat> the Deputy Attorney General, Sally Yates, has said forensic science is a priority for this administration. I think my being up here on this stage is uh, a manifestation of that. I've only been there recently, but clearly there have been multiple efforts that have been launched um, well before my time. One of those efforts came to fruition today. Uh, I'm here, among other things, to tell you uh, that today we announced uh, the, the, public re the Federal Register notice of what we call the Uniform Language on Testimony and Reports. That went live this morning at 10 o'clock. We described this language for seven forensic science disciplines, fibers, footwear, and tire treads, general chemistry, glass, latent prints, serology, and toxicology. Later this summer, there will be another set of forensic science disciplines. I anticipate that they would include firearms and tool marks, explosives, DNA, other trace evidence such as hair, uh, and handwriting. These documents on uniform language for testimony and reports uh, should tell our forensic scientists within the Department of Justice how they may report or word their report and word their testimony in courts, what they may or may not say. This effort really arose from a review of microscopic hair comparisons out of the FBI, where they recognized to look into the testimony of their examiners, there ought to be some standard by which we should look and compare and review. That led the FBI to uh, formulate a series of what they called ASTERS, approved uh, scientific uh, standards for testimony and reports. The Department of Justice said that we needed to look at these from a department-wide uh, standpoint so that other components might also uh, be using similar language and that we should also be very concerned about what forensic scientists are saying and to what extent they're based on scientific standards. Um, so the Department of Justice started with the asters developed by the FBI, which I should say have been in use for about a year, year and a half, uh, and they seem to be uh, well accepted and, and seem to be effective. So the Office of Legal Policy took those standards and then asked the other components and with some further dialogue and uh, discussions formulated these proposed uniform language uh, documents. Uh, these uniform language could, documents should be considered draft because we really want to still get public input. So it was put on the Federal Register today with hot links uh, to, a, to another place so that you can get these documents because we, the Department of Justice, really want to get a broad uh, set of input. We recognize that they may be persuasive out in the community, impactful. But in the end, these documents are internal to the Department of Justice. That is to say, we're going to use these documents for our own forensic scientists. Uh, we're asking for this input on a website that's www just well the the uh, notice is at www.justice.gov forward slash forensics and comments can be posted on www.regulations.gov uh, through july 8th thank you 